like the movie channel mail girl in my opinion and here she is now she probably doesn't even know the news yet um we've been canceled hun did you know that no you've been canceled i just deliver the mail i knew you'd be sympathetic well listen now that we, now that we just have seven more weeks I could take some time off. You know, we could uh, go do that Tahiti vacation thing we've always been planning to do. I know you've been dying to go someplace tropical with me where everybody gets naked on the beach and... Uh... I think I'm... I'm washing my hair that week. Well, actually, I'm available the entire month of March now if you uh, want to get together. That's nice. Do you think we might could read some mail tonight? All right, I won't press it, but I hope you realize that if you don't make your move in the next seven weeks, you could lose your chance of, uh, you know, being with me forever. I mean, we may never see each other again. Let, let's read some mail, okay? Tonight's letter comes from... I don't want to read mail, okay? Can't you see? I'm a broken man here. I'm trying to start some conversation. Okay, fine. I'll read it for you. Tonight's letter comes from... All right, I'm not from... that broken. I'll read it. All right. <laughs> Dear Joe Bob, just a quick note to tell you I've watched your show for years and really like it. I can really tell I've lived in Albuquerque too long because the other night I watched Last Call and actually enjoyed Shannon Tweed's performance, actually more than I liked Damage. I'm not sure if it's the gasoline in the water here or just the constant pressure to be ever more politically correct. Either way, the effect is the same. I used to be a radical feminist, and now I watch drive-in theater and hang out in transvestite bars. Since there's so little to do here, going to the mailbox is always a big thrill. Would you please load me up with some tacky merchandise from your show? It'd be great to get a t-shirt along with the cable bill for a change. Thanks. Continued success with the show. Sincerely, S. Allen. Continued success with the show. What are you trying to do, rip out my heart here? All right, actually, we, have, we do have about 9,000 tons of tacky merchandise that I'd be happy to give away to anybody who wants it, unless you'd want it, honey. You want to take something with you? We got some T-shirts left over, double extra large. You... So what are you saying? You think I'm fat? No, I don't think you're fat. Mm -hmm. I think you're double extra large, though. Well, anyhow, we do have seven more weeks to write to me, especially if you want to find out where I'm going to be in the future. What do you guys think this is, a wake? <laughs> You're Stasha Kinski, and of course that person is the Movie Channel Mail Girl. Let's bring her out. And if I may say so, honey, you look stunning tonight. You stunned me when you walked out here just now. You're, it's like getting hit, hit, hit by a two-by-four right across my skull just looking at you. What got into you? Actually, ever since I got fired, I have a new appreciation for life. I'm, I'm determined to live these last five weeks in the moment, as they say, seize the day, carpe diem, in a gata de vida. Do you have a job yet? You would have to bring that up, wouldn't you? Great, <laughs> that makes me feel great. Do I have a job? It's just, all, you know, I want to make sure I'm going to get paid for these last few shows. <laughs> so it's about the money? Is that all this is to you? No. Well, good. I've been dating several of the guys on the crew. Yeah. That's been really nice. Give me the letter. It's nothing personal. Give me the letter. I just don't date actors. Actors? You call this acting? This is reality, hon. You better get used to this. Well, excuse me. Here, read this. It comes from uh, Columbus, Ohio. Dear Joe Bob, did you know you play the very, very, very worst B-movies in the world? Did you pick this out? <laughs> and I think Sorority House Massacre 2 is majorly stupid, and I think Demonic Toys is fake, and I think All American Murder is the dumbest movie I have ever seen. Would you play Lunchbox and Bikini Car Wash? Signed, Blow Chunks. <laughs> Blow. Well, thank God I still have my fans. Why are we reading this letter? What is the point in reading this letter? Like, I have time to go find lunchbox and bikini car wash. I have a better chance of starting a lunchbox, sharing a lunchbox with the male girl in a bikini at the car wash. Which actually, honey, now that I'm thinking about that, would you mind maybe actually wearing a bikini one night on the show, you know, just for old time's sake? Yeah. One time before we go off the air? What are you talking about? Well, you know, the guys write in. They'd like to see more of the male girl. Time is running out. February the 24th is approaching, and we just thought you... Well, actually, I just thought that you might want to, you know, <laughs> spill the groceries here, and I... <sighs> Dream on! Extra 200 bucks if you'll do it. 
Five hundred. Two fifty. See you later. I'll try to find the money, all right? Dang. Should have counted with 275. Shoot. <laughs> Wouldn't you guys like to see a little bikini action here? Yeah. Woo. Of course, I forgot you guys have already seen everything. All right, I'm not going to think about that. Turn the channel after seeing them, and with the help of cleverly placed suggestions to my sergeant to take a break before all hell broke loose on the mean streets, I actually got to watch not only these two babes, but I also figured out the movie, and they said that diploma wouldn't come in handy. Are there any other flicks that these two appear in that you know of? Any chance of seeing more of them, if you know what I mean, and I think you do know what I mean? I know there's a large following for the big-breasted bimbos that grace so many of the B-movies out there today, but don't forget the group that still find the girl next door irresistible. Thanks for your time, Joe Bob, and keep up the good work of letting the regular guy know what's in the realm of the bees. If you read this to anybody, don't use the city. The people don't sleep too soundly around here anyway. Phil Blakely, top dog, third shift, Gabmeister. All right, Phil. One of the strange things about B-movies is that there's all these one-shot, one-of-a-kind, never-heard-from-again flicks. And Anguish is one of those flicks. Talia Paul and Clara Pastor, they may have made other movies, but I have never seen them before or since. Maybe they moved up, maybe they moved down, I don't know. In fact, a lot of times the girls that come off as the sexiest are girls who only make one movie. Any more than that, then they start doing a kind of Shannon Tweed color by numbers thing where you don't believe them worth a flip. So what I would recommend is go find Anguish in the video store where the girl next door performances of Talia Paul and Clara Pastor are preserved forever. Like if the male girl here was to make a movie, I'd buy a copy of that. In fact, I, you know what? I'm making a movie next year. Really? How many dates could I get if I put you in my movie? How much is the budget? A million dollars. A million dollars. What do I have to do? I dance naked, do a sex scene with me. <laughs> what? There's not enough money in the world, babe. <laughs> Demi Moore is going to do that. She's going to dance naked. You know, some people just don't know what's best for their careers.